Hey, welcome back to Great Day at 9 a. Pasta Carbonara. <laughs> are you the Cadbury Bunny? I'm the Cadbury Bunny. Mark, Mark. <laughs> I think we all are. <laughs> Pasta Carbonara is surprisingly simple to make. What better way to celebrate? Because it's National Carbonara Day. Lori Ann Marchese, the owner of Body Construct Fitness, is back to the Great Day Studios. It's nice to see you in light Thank of this. Thank you. We're making a classic version, only a little bit lighter. Yes. Okay. Yep. I'm right. sensing spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Looks, and I had this the other night. My friends Mark and, uh, excuse me, my friends uh, Paul and Greg invited me over to the dinner. They had this it was absolutely delicious it was so good i do have to say it is like really really yeah really and i don't good. miss the pasta when i have something no like this. no so um so yeah so i can't wait for you guys to try it because right. you guys are gonna love it so, so you start with a little extra virgin olive oil yep and then we'll do a tablespoon of garlic so let that saute just a little bit okay and then um we're going to put some turkey bacon mm. right in there oh the, okay and then okay. we'll get that going so we're gonna do that for about like three minutes um, we're gonna get that going. Is the turkey bacon pre-cooked or? It's um, I did a little bit yesterday just for like the segment. Just yeah, to sure. Get it All right, but you don't put, throw it in there raw, or you can throw it in yeah, there. Yeah, you raw. throw it in raw and then you cook it for like two, three minutes. Okay, perfect. So you let that go in, and then um, once that's done, we're gonna add some these peas okay. right to it. Classic in a carbonara dish. Love right? the peas. Yeah. We want a little bit of veggie to it. Peas of so Mariana. we're gonna saute that. So while that's going, we are actually gonna make the sauce now. So we're gonna let that cook for just a little bit. Okay. And now, actually, I'm gonna switch with you, Scott. You're gonna stir this. Okay. Um, keep that going, and then we're gonna do the sauce. So we're gonna do about a half a cup of cheese, Parmesan okay. cheese. Parmesan, yep. Yep. Parmesan One egg. Reggiano. <laughs> One egg. One egg. Okay. Holds everything together. And cream. A little bit of cream. About a quarter cup. Okay, so now I'm going to blend that together, make that nice sauce. That looks really beautiful. Does look good. So a little calories in there, but not. A little bit of calories, yeah, I mean. Everything still else healthy. Is, it's okay. Everything else is healthy. Got to cheat good. just a little bit. Got to cheat just a little bit. Every time I see myself in these ears, <laughs> I have to laugh. You were smelling that garlic though while you I were working out. I was smelling yeah. that garlic. Let you me tell you. You wanted to come here and have some pasta. I'll tell I you that. I was like, let's eat. <laughs> okay, so now we got the spaghetti squash. How Scott's do you cook favorite. that? You just throw it in the oven. I just threw it in the oven. I sliced it in half, and that was mm -hmm. it. Yep. And that's I cooked it. it for about maybe 40, 40 minutes. On what temperature? Three seventy-five. Okay, very good. Yep. So we're gonna add that right in there. And it just comes out just like that. Yes. Well, no, you have to actually Use like yeah, fork, fork and get it going. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I kind of pre-did that, so a little bit faster. That's beautiful. So though. now, yep, so now you gotta cook this. All right. And while you stir that, it I'll smells so good. Give this another whirl here. All right. So I'm gonna add a little bit more cream. I was gonna say, should that be? Um, a little creamier, okay. yeah. I love spaghetti squash. I think it's the, the un, I think it's the unsung hero. Of, of cooking. Of squash? Of squ I think of it's the unsung squash. Unsung squash. Unsung hero of squash. Okay, so oh, that now. Looks so good. This is the best part. This is what makes the carbonara right here. Oh, you put the thing right in there, huh? Right in there, yep. Because mm. mm. the egg is, you know, raw, what? so you want to cook it just the whole a little thing, bit. Or? Um, stir that a little bit. Because right. um, I kind of made half for today. Um, the other half is over there. Beautiful. So, yep, we're just, just going to cook like that. Just kind of like fold it all in. Fold it all in. It looks so good. It smells so good. It, it tastes so good. good. And it's so easy. I mean, I literally made this right here, right yep. in front of you guys. That's how fast you can make this. That's I mean, really, remarkable. the thing that takes the most time is probably just roasting the squash, right? Yeah. Roasting the squash tastes like, yeah, that's like 40 minutes. Yep. And then actually doing this is like super, super. So this is ready to be plated really up. Quickly. That's it. Yep. So we're going to plate that right over there. Okay. Let me get some parsley and we'll top that. And then that's it. All right. Good job. Nice job, Scott. Look Thank at you. that. That's your lunch, Scott. It's beautiful. He'll take this over working out, right? <laughs> Absolutely. That's spectacular. Some fresh parsley on top. And that's it. All right. Pretty we've, easy. We've got drinks over here. Now we're going to go to like the pink tail. So we're going to make some bunny tails today. I love it. Um, I know we were talking about these peeps, that they're not good. And it's true. They're high in sugar. But we're going to use it for like a decoration instead. Okay. Even, okay. Perfect. That's why I'm using it. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of vodka, mm -hmm. about an ounce. 
Now, if you want to make it a little stronger, want to have a little better time, get a little bit more. Um, then we add some grapefruit juice. Yum. Grapefruit juice and vodka. Yum. So good. Then we're gonna add a little bit of strawberries for okay. the pink tail. For the pink. Okay, that's beautiful. And then we are going to add a little bit of raspberries to that. Cute. And then. We'll add some fresca because it's low fresca. calorie. I haven't, had, yeah. my I haven't had a fresca in <laughs> right? a decade. So that's top perfect. a little bit of fresca. It has a little bit of that citrus flavor to it. A little bit of lime. A little squeeze of lime juice. Give it a little whirl. Give it a little whirl and it's ready to go. And we don't eat these, but they're for decorations because it's too but high I'll... in sugar. Okay, a little decoration. A little and use them as like a little floaty. Yeah, this so, has got red dye so number three in it. Floaty. I love it. They do look like pool floats. They're so cute. Up. Give it a little taste. Hang on. Oh, thank you. Hold on. We need to, don't worry. Be happy. Be happy. This is delicious. Cheers. It's good, right? Cheers. All right, terrific. Lori Ann Marchese, thank you so much. How do we get in touch with you? Mm. Um, you guys can reach us at bodyconstructfitness.com. Perfect. Mm. It's so good. The fresca, it's like... It's like a throwback. It hides, and it hides the vodka taste, which is just awesome. I love fresca. So and if you look at fresca, right? It's zero calories, so zero fat. We're going from vodka Only one carb. to wine. Marcy, take it away. <laughs> I know.